Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I'm just enjoying a glass of tea in my husband's um, Ohio mug. So I've already gone ahead and primed my skin. So I'm going to quickly move on with my makeup. And for foundation today, I am going to be using this uh, Juvia's Place I Am Ma Magic. It's a velvet matte foundation. I've used it a couple times and I like it. All right, so that is just one super light layer. Um, as you can see, it is a pretty buildable coverage. I didn't even use my full pump, and if I did, it would probably be more of a fuller coverage than it is right now. I don't mind because I'm gonna go in with concealer anyways, and whatever I want to conceal even more, I'll use the concealer to do that. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So for this concealer, you really don't need a lot because it is pretty full coverage. For concealer, you do want something that is um, lighter than your foundation, a couple shades lighter, just so that it does brighten up your face. Ignore my hair again. <laughs> I um, just got out of the shower, so it's still wet and I'm letting it dr air dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my base. I am gonna use the Morphe setting mist. So now for the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I think you pronounce it Camelot. Camelot, yeah. Gonna brush that into the crease and bring it into the inner corner with whatever's left on my brush. Okay, so now for the outer edge, I'm gonna go in with this color right here called B. And I'm dragging that into my crease. Okay, so now for my lids, I'm gonna go in with Golden Ticket, this middle shimmer shade right here. And I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade right here. It's called You're Not My Real Dad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pack that onto the outer edge. I feel like a little bit of the shimmer has fallen off with all the blending. So I'm just gonna go in and just pack in a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go into the same shades with a pencil brush and just add that to my lower lash line. I 
care for you too much for this casual thing to be enough Should probably let this go We tried three times with nothing to show So why, oh why am I so vexed this? Probably cause we have great Oh, 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 with the two darker shades, I'm just going to blend them together and just put that on the outer part of my eye and then pull in from the top lid and just drag it down. You're just going in with a really thin blending brush and just kind of blending all of that out. I'm just adding additional translucent powder to the almost kind of like my temples. That way when I place my finger on my face, um, when I do eyeliner, it doesn't get messed up. So that's my little hack. And I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner, of course, and go ahead and uh, line my lids. Okay, so for my inner corners, I'm gonna go in with my whole heart, this light pinky shade right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face, dust off all this powder. So for blush, I'm going to use this Olimar Cosmetics Blush Trio Palette, and I'm going to use this color, Seclusion. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with this Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And I'm going to add this same highlighter to my cheekbones. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some falsies. I'm going to use these Lashaholic lashes. They're really pretty, not super thick, so you'll be able to see through them and you can see your eye look through them. I don't usually put on lashes, but every now and then I do love the way they look. I haven't tried these lashes before, so hopefully they don't give me a hard time. And of course, if you're not comfortable wearing lashes, you absolutely don't need to. It's just personal preference. Have you guys seen those water activated lashes? You literally just put the strip in a bowl of water and it somehow gets tacky. I've been really interested to try it, but I'm honestly not sure if I would like it. It's already really difficult enough to put on lashes with lash glue. Um, I don't know how that would work with water activated lashes. I'm not sure. My go-to lashes are the Ardell Wispies. They are so pretty, super easy to apply. Honestly, I would recommend them for any beginner. Oh, why do we play these games? Why can't you my 
Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with some mascara and just kind of blend in my real lashes with the false lashes. And then I'm just going to apply some lower lash mascara. Okay, so now for my lips, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm just going to use this Tarte lipstick. It's in the shade Boardwalk. If your skin tone is similar to mine, I swear you will love this lips lipstick. It's the perfect nude. I have like so many backups of this. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And I love it with these eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. It's super simple, but very elegant and very pretty. Also, please let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see from me. I'm open to suggestions, so um, just leave me a comment. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It will help me out so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.